Okay then, so the uh, 30 today then for the Heritage Stock Cars going on track then here at Barford Raceway tonight. The cars are making their way round to their uh, grid positions for this one. This will be 16 racing laps for them. So the cars are just forming into line then around the circuit. Not a very big track here at Barford for the big mighty form of the ones, but uh, nonetheless, uh, hopefully a good race is in store for us in this one. So we'll get a run down the grid. So 213, the Desk Chandler car is driven by James Kinson. Alongside him, 160, the Andy Scott car, being driven by Charlie Lachlan. 85, the Ray Tidsley car, being driven by Aaron McGrath. And number two, the Willie Harrison car, being driven by Nigel Foster. 21, the Mark Gilbank car, being driven by Ralph Hodgson. And the 190 car, the uh, Wolfie car, being driven by Wayne Pearson. 59, Barry Shepard car, being driven by Ben Singleton and the 242 Dave Nichols car will be driven by Simon Lee. In the back of the grid, the 272 Dave Hodgson car is driven by Kevin Van den Bosch. So, a big grid of uh, heritage stock cars out there. Nine cars on circuit, nine laps. It's over to you, Mr. Starter. Yellow flag goes out, then, where we go. So, around they go on turn one, two. The new rolling up thing for the heritage cars this week. So down the far side there, roll. Watch the green flag to turn four. Rest of the rise, green flag a spinner already. Two on three, James Kinton goes right around on the, uh, well not even the first occasion, goes around before the green flag even goes down. One nine eight, Wayne Pearson's put himself in on turn one up to the flat out. So the rest of the field though in the meantime are away cleanly, so seven of the nine cars survive the first lap without any uh, Scratches and are uh, relatively unscathed. It's a lead for 160. With Charlie Archer in the front in the Andy Scott car doing very well at the moment in this one. In fact, he just put himself in the fence, so I take everything back. Number two of Nigel Foster now takes the lead on the home straight. 242 and 213 making a fight. Oh, 160 put himself in the fence. I mean, clobbered on the nose by 190. Wayne Pearson very hard indeed. That woke him up. As uh, he now goes on the rumble ships there, 213, James Kinton going in with the bumper, 59, Ben Smith on the inside, 242, the Simon in the home straight bumpers going down there on the uh, car park bend, they've got three cars to the fence, good shot for the 59 car, there's 272 comes down the inside as well, coming Van der Bosch, oh, big one there for 160, Archer oh, hits the tyres, he gets uh, put in the fence quite hard by 242, number two, your leader from 21 in second, 59 in the fence on turns three and four again. 160 is trying to crawl his way back to the centre by looks of Charlie Archer. He's trying to get that Andy Scott car moved. He does indeed too. So the so lead has changed and as the number two car of Nigel Foster spun out the lead. So number 21 Ralph Hodgson takes it up in the Mark Gilbank car. Oh! Car on two wheels. Two on three. James Kinton and he goes over. He was very lucky not to go indeed. 272 is now third Mr. Starter. Beyond that I'm not entirely sure. I think 59 could be fourth with 242 in fifth. 213 stuff and stuck into the pit gate, but it's 21 85 the top two. Raph Hodgson and um, Aaron McGrath, the, the uh, head of the field. 213, James Kinsey gets the uh, Des Chandler car rolling again on turn four as the, uh, two, as the number two car goes around. Go see of a bit of a work out for two and up and over we go. Got a roll over at turn one, one night, no Wayne Pearson rolls, Glenn Wolfden car right over. 21 still leads, Raph Hodgson in the Mark Gilbank car, doing very well in this one. First time seeing Raph out in these machines. Down on turn four, tangle between the top two, they both go to the centre. 85, Aaron McGrath takes the lead there in the right Italy car. And, two two, and 272, the Dave Hodgson car has caught right up now. Kevin van der Bosch is looking at the top two, waiting for the Lumpery, for the Lumpery. Aaron McGrath on each side, it's the wall on turn number three. And it's going to be a lead change as number two has spun to the centre. 190 has done likewise over on turn number two. And 21 retakes the lead with 272 in the fence quite hard. Nigel Foster trying to get the Willie Harrison car going over. We're going to see lap number 13 of this 16 lap Heritage Stock car heat number three. 272. Brandon Bosch back with up there. Puts the 21 car out wide. Makes a bit of a drift on there. Coming out of turn number two. The 85 car is still there in third. Oh, 21 goes sideways, and 85 hits him. Rand goes on the ground, the right is the car onto the centre. 242 Nichols. So, yeah, 242 Lee comes in rather and gets a big slide and gets clouted by number two of um, Nigel Foster. And he's now dropped behind the 59 car, Ben Singleton, down on the uh, home straight. Goes back with Umpa though. Can't make the move sick, unfortunately. A lot of the cars are now lapped down the Jazz. I think there's only five of them left on the lead lap at this point. 160 is long since gone. The 272 is your leader. Kevin Vandenbosch down the home straight they go. 
And in fact, he says the third chair of play is 2 4 2 goes for a spin on turn number two there, trying to battle for fourth place. I think he's got himself beached. The rest of the cars just come home to complete the distance in this one for Heritage Cars. 2 4 2 will be the final car we're going to classify, and then we will throw the reds. Okay, reds please, Mr. 